Yeah. First the medium, yeah. Yeah, with the flying change, and then you make a certain time, and you make a flying change every time you cross the center line, that's it. We don't make it too difficult. So at X, you just change your position, let him canter through. Medium canter, yeah. Try, try. Let him go in medium canter, don't let him lose, and you change your position when you are at X. Soft, but clear. Okay, you see, there is absolutely no problem. Absolutely no problem. The horse does it by himself. If, if you don't... Now change your position. Just change your position. Don't do anything else. From new outside... Yeah. You just have to... You canter him now on the outside rein with the inside loose. And when you are here, you put this new outside down and you make the other one loose. And you let him canter through. Yeah. Very little with the leg, but clearly bending like that. Okay, that was all right. Once more coming down. But clear, outside rain, cantering, inside soft, and then you change this hand clearly on the center line without pulling back, yeah? Better. Now we fix over there, you supple him here, that's it. Good. In the work with the flying changes, that you need to stay extremely consistent and very, very creative so that the horses aren't thinking ahead of you and don't, don't put changes in where you don't want them. Um, a lot of times, too, with the horses, I go across, especially the FEI horses, across the diagonal and never, ever do a change. Maybe do certain things on the diagonal that you come across. And maybe do a circle one way, simple change, circle the other way, so that they don't think that every time you go across the diagonal, you're going to do flying changes. So, Jerry, now just come around and encounter. Just simply go across the diagonal and encounter. Also, too, in your schooling, you want to use center line and diagonals a lot so the horses don't associate those always with doing some sort of movement. Now I think he could even try to make a flying change from counter canter to counter canter. Yeah. Uh, you make the serpentine, you make the second loop in counter canter, and then you change from counter canter to the other counter canter. Just by changing your position, nothing else, See, and in this way, you can look forward if your horse, Jerry's horse is actually like fourth level starting pre-St. George. But always look ahead and see what things are coming in the future and Soft start to inside. slowly put them together in a simplified way. Strong outside. And you keep that. And when you are here, you change this position. You are strong on the other side. Okay. Not too bad. He came a little bit high with hind legs, but he did it all right beside that. Okay, that's it. Keep your position now, and then at X, you change your position clearly. Okay. Super. Yeah. Very well done now. Also, you can see with this kind of work where the horse has to work a little bit more, he's got to organize himself behind. Okay, he's very, very young at it, but the horse tries with a good attitude, and as he does that, for example, down here, he had a very, very good um, position through his whole body and carried himself. So as you go on in the work, it should benefit the horse. It should make him be able to carry himself better, and that's what you want to look for moving into the higher levels. Try once the four tempi changes like that on the diagonal. Why not? Yeah. We try, we try. Just change your position clearly. And if you have not exactly four strides, don't worry. Okay. Good. <laughs> it's 
That's the way to do it. You can make five like that. You can make five, four, ten B changes like this. Yeah? Try. Don't change anything. Just go on like this. You start a little bit earlier with the first change, but clearly, outside fixed, inside light. Outside fixed, <laughs> inside light. Okay, yeah, and good. we have it. Good. The same way you do now the three tempi changes. Okay. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> so, in war. <laughs> See here, this is real interesting because you see then how from, from the basic level up into that, the, the suppleness and the looseness and the easiness from the rider is maintained throughout. And it was especially nice because he was able to keep the same rhythm all the way through. Light, 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 no problem. You want to make the pirouettes? Okay, go in canter. And bring the horse closer here, soft inside hand, keep him strong outside, or relatively strong, and inside leg at the girls for every stride, every stride, every stride, you touch him, 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 and out again. Light, 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 and inside leg at the girls for every stride, a little bit, a little bit. Soft inside, keep the outside well, soft inside, go on, go on, go on, come closer, 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 okay, and out again. Good. Okay. Okay, and staying just on this size circle, that you go forward eight strides, collect eight strides. Go ahead and start to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Collect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Collect. Fix the outside rein. Soften the inside so that you've got that instant reaction back and forth. That's it. And push forward again. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, collect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and forward. Yeah, that's it. So you have instant reaction back and forth with the horse, and that you can play with that at any time. You can do it four strides, you can do it six, eight strides. Start with the larger number, of course. That's it. Good.